Tonight, President Barack Obama offered the American people his agenda for the next year. We all share the common goal of renewing and growing our economy. But the President's vision for this country is one of bigger government and more spending, not the common sense Montana values and pro-growth solutions that our nation needs. Montanans deserve real solutions, not more political rhetoric. To grow our economy, to create jobs, to get our debt under control, we need common sense Montana solutions, not more of Washington's failed ideas. Anything less is unfair to the next generation. That's why I'm committed to the following principles. First, we must take concrete steps to grow our economy and get our nation's fiscal house in order. We need real tax reform, a simplified pro-growth tax code that provides American families and small businesses with certainty, not confusion, and encourages our small businesses to grow, invest, and create new jobs. We need to take serious steps to balance our budget. Under President Obama, our nation's debt continues to grow and grow. We must make smart decisions today that get our spending under control and protect the promises we've made to our seniors and our veterans while strengthening the future for the next generation. Second, we need a true all of the above energy plan, one that encourages the development of both renewable and traditional energy resources. In Montana, we have abundant natural resources from wind and water to coal and natural gas. We must encourage the responsible development of these resources, not put up senseless barriers that block the creation of good paying jobs and hinder our path to energy independence. The recent agreement between the Crow Tribe and Cloud Peak Energy is a great example of how we can grow the economy and create good paying jobs through the development of our state's resources. I'm excited about the potential that this partnership holds, and I'm also honored that Crow Tribal Chairman Darren Old Coyote, who has shown tremendous leadership with this agreement, joined me this evening in Washington, D.C. for tonight's State of the Union Address. We also must move forward on the approval of the Keystone XL pipeline. I can't say it enough. This project means Montana jobs, and it's time for the President to approve it. And finally, I remain committed to protecting Montana's right to keep and bear arms, and I will continue fighting against any efforts that infringe upon Montanans' Second Amendment rights. These are the common sense Montana solutions that our nation needs. That's why I will stand strong and protect the freedoms we value and work towards common sense solutions that help grow our economy, lower our national debt, and get our country back on track. Thank you.